This video is about how to create videos of your art for a little or no cost. But first, an outtake. You've probably seen I don't do anything very, very fancy, but it's, it's good enough. <laughs> I, someone once said to me, uh, when I was asking, uh, you know, was I a, 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 it was a challenging time in parenting, and they asked me, you know, was I, was I good enough? And I said, yeah, I was. So in any given day, you can be good enough. All right, some people have asked me about my setup. In other words, how do I do my videos? And I am not very good at technical stuff. Ask my family, you know, every day they'll say, you have a question that drives them nuts. But I figured out enough that I'm able to make the videos that you're seeing. And if you're watching this, then you're currently watching one of them. So let's look at the setup. Uh, the first thing I should say is what's happening right here is it's a regular tripod and it has on top of it though, an adjustment that holds onto my iPhone. I think I have an iPhone 8 and I do all my videoing on iPhone 8. Um, I know that the newer cameras have better phones, uh, but this seems to work pretty well for me. And no matter what you are going to actually film in, what matters probably more than that is what you decide to upload, you know, how, what um, size you decide to upload something. Uh, so now we'll go look at the setup. I hope you can hear. You should be able to hear me because I have a microphone. So here's my setup. What I have here is a table. I do not work flat. So here's my table. So here's my setup. I have a table here and on it I have paper towels which I keep nearby. All of my brushes are here and they're flat, not in any kind of order. I keep my covered palette and my water. What I also have here, just that you can barely see, is one of these, uh, another tripod with a goose neck top. And I can put a camera in here. I don't have a second iPhone. I use an old camera that, uh, I think it's a Motorola or something. Uh, and I will put that uh, on the palette occasionally when I want to use a palette cam, which I don't do too often. Then I have this other desk. I don't use this desk either, <laughs> except to hold things. Um, but here's where the main action happens here on the easel. It's just a standard easel, a wooden easel. I think what's important if you're going to be doing any kind of videoing is that your easel is uh, steady, that it doesn't wobble in any way. I used to have a, a French easel, the kind that you uh, take outside for plain, plain air painting and it would wobble and that wobble can drive your viewer a little bit crazy. You need pretty good lighting. I don't have anything fancy going on, but I have, I have, I'm in a white room and I have good lighting because there are windows all around me. But I do have an overhead light on right now because it's gray out. I have my hair dryer right here because I like to dry between layers. But here's the main thing. This thing right here, it's a gooseneck, um, I don't know, do you call it a tripod? Can't, I'm not sure what you call it, but again, it's a camera holder. I can adjust that anywhere I need it to go. So when I'm going to go and do my videoing, I take my paper, excuse me, I take my paper, so here's something ready to go, and I stick it right here, and I put the camera in this apparatus, I guess you call it. None of this is very expensive, I should say. I think this tripod, um, I got, not tripod, but whatever you call it, camera holder, I got from Amazon. Everything that you're looking at, <laughs> except for the easel maybe, is under $30. I don't spend a lot of money on this stuff. But this is right over my shoulder. I make sure that the camera is in a position so that it shoots over my shoulder and can see the artwork successfully. So I keep this pretty much in place most of the time because I tend to, probably like you, paint in the same, uh, you know, you get used to your habits, you paint in the same place uh, oftentimes. Now, if I'm gonna put a big piece of paper on, you know, if I'm gonna work on a bigger piece like this, then I'm gonna have to, I don't adjust this, but what I tend to do is I'll move the easel back so the camera can focus on that, and then I'll need to move the table. So for the most part, this stays stable. And that is the amount of equipment that I use. I also use what you saw me put on at the very beginning, which is this, uh, very, very, very inexpensive mic, which is on a cable that goes to the camera. Because if I'm that far away from the camera, you wouldn't be able to hear me. Uh, I know that some people use wireless mics. I'm not investing in anything like that. So that is the actual concrete 
things that I use for making videos. The next thing that I do after I make a video is I will go directly to what you've seen before behind me, which is the computer. Because what I need to do, what I need to do is put, take from the camera and put it into the computer. And what I do is I put everything into iPhoto because I do all my videoing, editing on iMovie. I know some people use Final Cut. For whatever reason, I started on iMovie and that's what I continue to use. You've probably seen I don't do anything very, very fancy, but it's, it's good enough. <laughs> the next thing that happens is I use uh, a, this cord, which attaches the phone to the um, computer, and I download everything into iMovie. It goes into iPhoto, and then I drag it out and I put it into uh, on desktop. From desktop, I'll drag it into iMovie and do my editing from there. What you do have to do when you're videoing with your iPhone or I think any camera is you do have to be on the video setting. That's kind of obvious. What else do you need to know? I guess nothing except when, when later when you get into iMovie movie and we can talk about that another time getting into iMovie is where you're able to edit you're able to add music you're able to add text you're able to speed things up or slow things down uh, i know that it doesn't have lots of bells and whistles but it has enough for me to successfully do what i need to do also um iMovie iPhoto of course comes with your mac uh iMovie i don't remember what it costs but it's again really inexpensive i i've spent very little money on my videoing stuff, uh, especially compared to art supplies. But I would say for the most part that what I do, the, the thing that I have, I wouldn't say invested a lot of money in, but that I have had a lot of return on are tripods. So I have that uh, gooseneck thing that you saw on the table, really important because it shoots over my shoulder. I have the other tripod with the uh, gooseneck on it, which can look down at the palette. Uh, I also have a tripod which can have an iPad attached to it, but I almost never use that. If you're, uh, you probably already know this, but if you're going to use an iPad to do any kind of videoing, it has an extremely limited memory and it will cut out on you. And so uh, I just generally, that's what I started with and I almost never use it anymore. Now I would use, I do use the iPad when I'm teaching because I think um, that's an important tool. So I do have that tripod. So the total is three tri tripods. But there was one other tip that I just found out that I do want you to know about, which is if you are gonna use your iPhone, or I believe any phone to do any of this videoing, put it on airplane mode while you're videoing because there's a tendency, if you get a call coming in or something else, you can get a blip which will occur and it will stop the recording. And you don't know that because it will, simply what it does is it cuts out and then um, you'll think that you were completely successful until you go to download it and it'll say error. And then you realize later, oh, they remember that phone rang or oh, I remember something happened, I heard the phone buzz. And that can be really, really a sad moment, especially if you spent you know 45 minutes uh, painting something and uh, you know it's lost because it's lost into error. So that's what I know so far, and I will put links to these different tripods and adjustment uh, mechanisms for the top of the tripod in the description below. Believe me, I don't make any money from this. <laughs> I make no money, <laughs> which is uh, kind of funny right now, but, um, but that's a whole separate story. So remember to keep the whites of your paper white, your paint sweat, mask for value, mix for color. If you have any questions about videoing, uh, and I mean rudimentary videoing and editing on, on iMovie, let me know. I'm glad to share the information because it was extremely frustrating for me and um, I would have loved it if someone could have helped me because there were so many times when I got stuck and you know, I bought the um, iMovie for dummies and, um, and also to, you know, kept looking at tutorials on YouTube. But boy, uh, talk about the blind leading the blind. I, I learned by making a, a million mistakes and when I look back, I realize, oh gosh, if I had had a co-pilot, if I had had someone I could have written and said, you know, what do you do about this? What do you do about this? This is happening. Oh, that would have been so helpful. So I'd be glad to be that person. Joe McKenzie here, your watercolor coach. Now we'll go look at the setup.
All right, I hope you can hear. A second, because someone left some heat on in here. Oh no, wow, it's warm here in Vermont. I can turn down the heat. Oh my God, someone was in here and turned it up to 72. Holy smokes. All right, we know who that was, and it wasn't me. So here's my, well, no, let's go back. After I edit, I put it on the desktop, and from the desktop, I'm trying to remember, what do I do? Let me think for a second. Goes into iPhoto. Yeah, okay. So from I, I'll edit the tripods. I have a selfie stick, which I never use. I, <laughs> the only reason I use a selfie stick would be to take a picture of myself once in a while when I want to do a self-portrait of myself. So they say, remember to keep the white to your paper white and your paint sweat. Mass for value, mix for color. And I'll see you next time. Okay, bye-bye.